Good afternoon. My name is State Senator Tom Davis. I am the Senator for Beaufort County and parts of Jasper County. And I stand here proudly in support of this nullification effort, not only in regard to Obamacare, but in regard to every instance in which the federal government oversteps its bounds. And my message to you is this. I'm going to focus on this. Don't let anybody tell you you don't have the intellectual high ground. Don't let anybody tell you that what you're arguing for isn't supported by our U.S. Constitution. Don't let anybody tell you that this is not a method that's open to the states. Because let me tell you this. A few years ago, I was chief of staff to the governor of South Carolina, and we decided as a state that we were not going to adopt the real ID provisions of the federal government, and other states did the same thing, and the federal government gave up, and that died and withered on the vine. So we have... We have a modern day example of a chief executive of the state saying, we're a sovereign state, you're the federal government, you have certain specific powers and beyond that you may not go. We think you have gone beyond those powers. We are not going to abide by the law that you passed. And guess what? The federal government went away. If we go ahead and we show that same resolve, if we show that same persistence, and if we argue based on the Constitution, if we argue based on history, because guess what? Thomas Jefferson authored a resolution for Kentucky that nullified the Alien and Sedition Act that made it illegal for citizens of the United States to criticize their federal elected officials. There was a law passed back in 1800 that said you went to jail if you criticized your elected official. Thomas Jefferson wrote a resolution for Kentucky to nullify that law and it was never enforced in Kentucky. James Madison wrote a nullification resolution for that law in Virginia and it was never enforced in Virginia. So don't tell me it's never been done in America and don't tell me that the United States Constitution does not sanction and authorize and dare I say require this sort of activity on behalf of the sovereign states. Because if you're a sovereign state and you have gone ahead on behalf of your people and you've given away some power, a limited amount of power to the federal government as an agent, and if they exceed that power, it is your duty as a principal to your citizens to call that government to heal, to say to the federal government, you have acted beyond the scope of your authority, we're not recognizing it. That is rooted in principle and agency law, it's rooted in our constitutional law. Let me say this, if you're going to ask me to choose between Thomas Jefferson and James Madison on the one side as to what the U.S. Constitution authorizes the states to do, and Aliga Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor on the other side, I can tell you where I'm going to come down every single time. I'm going to come down to those that had a hand in drafting that Constitution. I'm going to come back to the guys that went to their state legislators and argued for its ratification. I'm going to go to the guys that wrote the Federalist Papers explaining to the states what that U.S. Constitution means. I am not going to look to somebody like Ruth Bader Ginsburg who goes overseas and advises other countries to not adopt constitutions that are based on the U.S. Constitution because that is a flawed and failed model. That is a shame. That is a disgrace. I will never stand for that. What I will stand for is this, and my pledge to you is this. I will spend every waking hour that I have in that chamber up there in the South Carolina State Senate to find a way to nullification, through rejection of dollars from the federal government with strings attached, through any other mechanism whereby the federal government tries to overstep their bounds and take freedoms away from the people and authority away from the state. We all have our jobs. We have fantastic congressmen up in Washington, D.C. right now. We have got Mick Mulvaney and Jeff Duncan and Trey Gowdy and people like that that are fighting the battle, and that's great. I can't do anything in Washington, D.C., but I can do something right here in South Carolina. One of the ways we push back is not only to fight laws in D.C., is for sovereign states to stand up for their rights and push back that way. With your help and with your guidance and with your strength, I'll carry out that role, and together we will push back this tide of federal encroachment. Thank you very much.